welcome to the official launch party for the Rock 2034 plan. have been trying to put that to music or something. Who was it? Like Prince? Like going to party like it's 1990? But see, 2034 doesn't quite get there. But it's still going to be a party, all right? <laughs> Before we start, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge my council colleagues, Mitch Gruber, who's here. Mitch, welcome. And Council Member Elaine Spall, welcome. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us this evening to celebrate the launch of the Rochester 2034 Comprehensive Plan. The last time the City of Rochester launched a comprehensive plan was the Renaissance Plan for Rochester 2010. I worked on that. 2010 wasn't that long ago. I mean, we did the plan in 2002. We approved it. But you know what I remember about that was that it was an outstanding effort in community involvement and engagement and in planning and getting a real feel for the direction that we're going because I've always been told if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. And we wanted to know where we were going. It's been 20 years since we've put together a comprehensive plan for the city and it's time to look toward the future. A few weeks ago, my colleagues on council and I were provided with a <clears throat> excuse me, presentation of the 2034 plan. And I must say, I was incredibly impressed. This plan begins to craft a strategic direction for our city, and it does so from the grassroots. We know that as we plan for the future, the most important voices to listen to are those of folk who live and work in our city. That's why the planning team met with over 50 neighborhood groups, conducted 30 topic-based stakeholder meetings with over 100 stakeholder groups, engaged young people through our schools and the Mayor's Youth Advisory Council, held pop-up outreach events at the Rochester Public Market, celebrated city living at the City Living Expo and local colleges, and partnered with the Rochester Monroe Anti-Poverty Initiative for outreach at libraries, our centers, public housing facilities, settlement houses, food link mobile markets, with the goal of reaching underrepresented populations. In addition to public meetings, they launched two surveys that received over 4,000 responses and over 80,000 data points. This plan is the community's plan. And I'm grateful to the community for lending their time and sharing their opinions on how to move our city forward. And I appreciate the hard work. I appreciate the work the planning team has done engaging our community. Let's have a round of applause for the city. They've defined good public service with the tireless work they've put into crafting this thoughtful document. And they aren't done yet. The city will continue to engage the community on the 2034 plan, reaching out over the next few weeks to get more feedback and, and fine-tune this document. We need the voices of our community because the plan we launch will guide our city's strategic decisions for the next 15 years when Rochester celebrates its 200th birthday. Now that's going to be a party. That'd be a real party right there, right? I can't wait to see the 2034 plan come to fruition, making the city's 200th birthday celebration all the more exciting. Thank you all. Thank you so much for attending.